Hello everybody and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2! We're in the underworld today, <laughs> where Hades dwells. Anyhow, we're about to leave the underworld and go off to the beautiful land of Olympus Coliseum. They're not, though. <laughs> Let me see if I've got this right. That brat's keyblade works on any lock. That's right! <laughs> have I ever told you about the killer coliseum we have right here in the underworld? It makes the one upstairs look like an Olympic kiddie pool. Then that's the place we're gonna put an end to hurt the jerk's winning streak. Problem. Zeus locked it tight. Oh! <laughs> oh? Bingo! All we gotta do is swipe that key and then reopen the underdrome. Hate to tell you, but that key is kind of particular. It won't work for just anybody, and that kid ain't no pushover. <laughs> I remember, he kicked my butt back in Kingdom Hearts 1. And Chain of Memories, except that was just a memory of me. I think this calls for a woman's touch. <laughs> I love how Hades, like, more than actually, like, Taking out Hercules, yeah, he wants to do that, but he's also like, oh man, it would be great if we had the, the Underworld Coliseum open again. It's like, okay, there aren't any actual monsters in there. It's literally just a Coliseum in the Underworld. He's like, no, we've got to open that. It's like, oh, I mean, what does that really have to do with, like, defeating Hercules? We've got to have it open. It's my favorite place. <laughs> Welcome back! It looks just the same. <laughs> ever know, ever wondered why we couldn't see what was behind that door in Kingdom Hearts 1? Because it was literally just a black void to the underworld. Gorsh, this sure does bring back memories. My goofy voice kinda sucks. Sorry about that, folks. This is the ranking board for the memorable tournament, the Phil Cup. That was, yeah, oh yeah. Who could forget about the Phil Cup? Ah, uh, the ranking board for the Pegasus Cup, in which you battled valiantly. The ranking board for the Hercules Cup, in which you were the victor. That's pretty cool. No more Trinity marks on the ground, in case you couldn't tell. That was a King Mars 1 only thing. The rankings board for the Hades Cup, in which you struggled greatly. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> How about that face, huh? <laughs> Hades here. <laughs> My cup was the best. <laughs> this is not a Hades voice. My cup is the best, kid. Come on, let's be honest. <sighs> Sora! Donald! Goofy! When'd you get here? Hey, Herc! Howdy there! You want another adventure? Yeah, tracking down some friends, wiping out some Heartless. Junior Heroes always busy. You know? <laughs> I love that little high five they give there. Like, <laughs> Sora and Herc are total bros. I love it. <laughs> so did you find those friends of yours? Still working on it. That's it when we got when we got here we ran into Meg. Meg mega trouble, I mean, so we had to help somebody out. We tried to go teach Hades a thing or two. But the underworld drains away all our strength. We can't do anything without drive forms. Don't you don't suppose you have any ideas? Well, there is a stone that guards against the underworld's curse. The gods on Mount Olympus use it whenever they have to go down there. Think we could use it? Sure, why not? I'll go get it for you. Thanks! Real nice of you. But Hades is no pushover, even if you've got the Olympus Stone. And I have a match today, so I can't go with you. Know what you need? Training. Why don't you go talk to Phil? Hey, good idea! No, Phil's training sucks! And we get the Coliseum map. Well, actually, Phil's training sucked in Kingdom Hearts 1. It's a lot better in this, because it's a lot shorter and easier. Hercules went to get the Olympus Stone. In the meantime, what, shouldn't you be training Junior Heroes? Hey. We should be training Junior Heroes, not training because we are Junior Heroes. We've beaten two games, I'll have you know. Hey, champ! How you feeling? Better rest up for tomorrow's match. Nobody's gonna pay to see a worn-out hero. Gavish? Nobody's here Remember at all. Remember what I told you. Victory in the games comes down to two simple words. 
Eat, bathe, sleep. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, if it ain't the junior heroes. Looking good, Phil. Never better. How you guys been? Have you earned your true hero wings yet? Yeah, we have Valor Form. Uh... Valor Form sucks. You'll learn that once you get any of a dry form. <laughs> Not nope, really. You ain't got what it takes. What? So, what's up? Power form is still useful, but it's not as good. It's the worst of the dry forms, if you ask me. <laughs> you free are gonna take on Hades? Weren't so funny? You got nerve. I like that. Hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened, right? Better get cracking, boys. So you wanna train, eh? Alright, I'm gonna work you hard. <laughs> Practice, break it, the pots, and retrieve as many orbs as possible. Yeah, these are a lot easier, though, than the original Phil's training words. Destroy all the barrels in 20 seconds. Smash the pots and collect orbs within the time limit. Break the pots to collect orbs. Smash bigger pots into the smaller ones to get lots of orbs. Destroy smaller pots to make the bigger pots appear. So the training is super easy. There's just pots that spawn and you beat them up. And we've got a minute and a half to get just 20 orbs. And we've got draw because we're playing on critical mode. So it's an absolute cinch. Clear. Yeah. <laughs> really easy. How is that? Sword, that was like the easiest minigame in the game. It ain't over yet, kid. There's more on the menu. You can relax once you finish all the training. No problem. Yeah, even the second one is super easy. This one's the real deal. Maniac. Okay. You want to know how much of a maniac we are? Now you have to collect a hundred orbs. It's still a minute and a half, which is still laughably easy. Phil must have thought we're still Kingdom Hearts one sword. It was like really bad. So we're just gonna try to destroy as many pots as possible. Eventually, a giant one will spawn, and it drops like a ton of orbs when you feed it. Only your combo finishers can actually break the orbs, though. So don't get. Here we go. Yeah. No, lock onto the big orb. No, lock onto the big orb. <laughs> yeah, each of those orbs is worth like ten, and we get a new um, a new ability, aerial dive. Hey, Hercules, what's up? All right. Well, first thing we're gonna do. All right. And another thing we're gonna do... Okay, so Aerial Dive. Unleashes a powerful aerial attack on distant targets. We're gonna equip that and we are gonna unequip Aerial Sweep. Because Aerial Dive is better than Aerial Sweep, and if we have them both equipped, uh, it'll replace your aerial attacks with Aerial Sweep more often than you'd like. So if you do Aerial Dive instead, it'll replace basically every aerial attack with Aerial Dive, which is great. We're gonna do that. <laughs> hey, Herc. Listen, I gotta take off for a bit. Where to? None of your beeswax. I'm going to Subway to get a foot mauling on Italian herb cheese bread. Sorry guys, the Olympus Stone has been stolen. By who, by who? What? We don't know who did it yet. All that we're sure of is that it was a guy in a black hooded cloak. And he had accomplices, a bunch of creatures in white. Someone you know? I think so. Hey, if we can get the Olympus Stone back, can we borrow it for a while? Sure. By the way, you haven't seen Meg around, have you? We've been in here doing Phil's training for the last, like, 60 seconds. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't, I can't go on without What's Meg. Wrong, you're a hero, miss. Feeling under the weather? <laughs> you know, I thought staying in perfect shape was part of the hero job description. You know what I'm saying. Oh, right. Hades, we gotta talk. Ugh. I came to share a bit of mildly interesting news. Seems your dear, sweet little nutmeg went and got herself lost in the underworld. <laughs> you mean you kidnapped her? Well, maybe. <laughs> but why get caught up in the details? 
<laughs> you gotta love Hades. His voice actor just does a fantastic job with him. Uh, uh, uh. You can't leave now. Okay. You've got a very important match today against uh, the bloodthirsty Hydra. I mean, if you don't stick around, who knows what kind of accidents might happen. Yeah, accidents you cause. Like I said, details. Who needs them? You're just a coward. Ah, well, can't all be heroes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hades. Can you handle this? No doubt. No heroes. Junior heroes, Donald. You sure. the Hydra. We'll handle the rest. How about we take care of the Hydra? <laughs> no, sir. You need to be battle level Meg. 60 before you can take on the Hydra. Oh, okay. And that's when you're playing on standard mode. <laughs> they were using, oh man, fuel migraine coming on. Phil actually went to the pharmacy to pick up some <laughs> headache medicine for Hercules. Believe me, I wish I could leave this instant to rescue Megara. Please help her, Sora, at least until I defeat the Hydra. All right, all right, Herc. Oh, hey, it's Pox. <laughs> I was gonna use those for training, Sora. Oh, sorry, Phil. Oh, well, what are we gonna do? Underworld entrance, that's what we're gonna do. Phil! Oh, oh, what happened? I spotted this strange guy all dressed in black. He cut in front of me at the subway line. I chased after him, but he turned on me. Next thing I know, I'm seeing stars. I'm dressed in black! He's the one who stole the Olympus Stone. Where'd he run off to? To the underworld. He's a bad apple, all right. And all I wanted was to find a backup hero. Just in case Herc needed to take a break. Heroes, eh? You could've just asked. You know someone? Oh, good one. We beat Kingdom Hearts 1, dude. That guy in black doused the fire that blocked the entrance and went into the cave. To be honest, I'm worried about you. Be sure to prepare before you go in. That is not a Danny DeVito voice, but I can't do one. And in this chest, we get a power boost. Increases strength by one. Usable only from the main menu. And we're going to use that right away, because why would you not? Power boosts are extremely rare and very, very good. Use that on Sora. Bada bing, bada boom. And yeah, now we can actually go this way. Deeper into the underworld. You remember this guy from the movie, right? Or maybe you haven't seen Hercules. If you haven't seen Her Disney's Hercules, you should. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. It's basically Aladdin if it was in Greece. And that's basically the highest compliment I can give. There's nobody here! Thanks. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. There's nobody there! <laughs> Phil just has speakers going blaring his name. Welcome to the Underworld Caverns. As you can see, there's a thick fog here. And... Well, there's a puzzle piece here. We're gonna jump to it. There we go. Yeah, because we would have fallen if we hadn't jumped. These are annoying little Heartless. I can't remember their exact names. They're like Phantom Ghosts or something. I'll have to look that up later. Uh, yeah, they can be a little bit annoying. You can shoot stuff at you, and yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> They're powerful, they have long range attacks, and well, come on, no. Good, okay, still got it. And it's possible for them to turn invincible if they want. Let's try to kill them before they get the chance. Ouch. And yeah, there's still boulders falling on us. There are also a lot of chests in here that are very easy to miss. Because this room is basically a giant maze. I'm gonna see if I can find them all, though. Man. This underworld curse is really getting to me. We've gotta get that Olympus Stone back fast. Gorsh. A uh, yuck. <laughs> Alright, now we're on the lost road. We're out of the entrance. This, okay, this is where it turns to a maze. Oh! Oh man, if I hadn't done that second finisher, I would have actually gone up there. Which you're not supposed to go up there until later. Hi, soldiers. 
So let me see if I lock onto him. There's a way to get up there later in the game, but I'm gonna see if I can do that again. Thanks, Donald. Appreciate it. I forget. Most of the puzzle pieces you can't actually get until later. Efer, yes, Efer's are really good. One thing that beginners don't really know in this game, in the Kingdom Hearts games, but you learn it once you play it, like, I won't say professionally, but like, once you play it on higher difficulties, it's that Efer's are extremely good. Thank you, Donald. I hate these ghosts. Oh man, that's actually really bad. I was planning on using a cure when I was about to run out of MP, but I accidentally used too much. Oh well. All's well that ends well. They're full stone in that chest. So I've been that way already. I have not been down here. Yeah, just all the rooms look the same, you know? Alright, so I've already been to that part. Is this the entrance back to the... no? That's a way I haven't been before. Because we got a puzzle piece right here. Thank you, Donald. So, oh yeah, Donald's just on with the healing. Donald's AI got a lot better in this game compared to Kingdom Hearts 1. Where in Kingdom Hearts 1, he would just burn through all of his magic and then basically kind of get it back until he reached a save point. But partially thanks to MP Recharge in this, Donald's much more useful. I'm definitely missing some chests. It doesn't help that I don't have the map yet. Okay, well, this seems to be the only way I can go. Ah, uh, yes, we're in the atrium. Actually, we may have gotten at least almost all of the chests. I think maybe we got all the chests that we can get now, but we can go back later and get more once we can jump higher. Alright, here we go. Now things get interesting. Uh, after I grab this chest, of course. Make sure you jump. AP boost. I'll keep that in handy for later. A sec. Roxas? Excuse me? Roxas? Oh, it's no use. Huh? What are you talking about? Let's see here. If the subject fails to respond, use aggression to liberate his true disposition. Right. Did they ever pick the wrong guy for this one? You're bizarre. Oh, he's gotta be the thief! Now that's just plain rude. So we actually get to meet one of the next organization members. This is Demix. <laughs> so Demix, uh, as you can see, his weapon is a guitar and his element is water. We don't actually fight him now, but we have to play a little mini game with him where he basically will make a bunch of water clones. We have to defeat 100 water clones within 1 minute 20 seconds. Now this is easy because once you attack his water clones a little bit, you can get this wild dance reaction command, where you're swinging around and just basically destroy any other water clones that are nearby. Be careful though, because if you leave the water clones around for too long, they will attack and they're powerful. Demix is easily one of my favorites of the new organization members. There we go. Oh, and Donald gets MP Rage. I mean, that'll be kind of nice, I guess. It's MP Rage is a lot worse in this compared to what it was in Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, ooh. Roxas, come back to us. Guy's a broken record. Hey, look! Oh, he left the stone behind. Nice.
Let's go. Meg needs our help. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. This is only in Final Mix. Not you again. Aw, don't be like that. Especially when I'm here to tell you about something even better than the Olympus Stone. Absent silhouettes, shadowy presences of those who were slain. Absent silhouettes? Like the title of that book. Exactly, though they come in all different shapes and sizes. The item belonged to its owner, who is now nothing more than a shadowy presence. But you can still fight them, of course. And as you do, it'll slowly awaken the real you. What are you talking about? You're the hero. You figured it out. What is that anyway? An absent silhouette. You'll have to save that for later. First, we have to rescue Magara. Let's go. I have no idea why they put that in, to be honest, because they only put that in for Final Mix. They didn't need that. You don't need the explanation of the absent silhouettes, because we already got that like back earlier in the Olympus Coliseum. Anyways, we get the Olympus Stone, a stone held by the gods of Olympus. It serves as protection from the Underworld's curse. And we get Secret Ansem Report number 5, for some reason. Anyhow, now we can use Drive Forms, because our Drive Gauge is unlocked. We can also use Summons, and one thing I want to check... Uh, summon effects, we want the full summon effects for now. And here we are, we are in the, the lock room. First we're gonna open up all the chests. There. Cavern's map. Wish we could have gotten that a little earlier. Earlier. Duality puzzle piece. And an AP boost. We're also gonna go to abilities, because Donald has MP Rage, which we are definitely going to equip. Meg here is trapped in a stone. How did Hades create an extra thing for Sora to unlock? He's like, I'm just gonna make another lock for Sora to open that. <laughs> and then bada beam bada boom. <laughs> it's like, how did he do that? Almost there. <laughs> nah, that's what I call a key. Gee, thanks for your help. <laughs> now have a nice day. Sora, behind you! <laughs> What's wrong? You can't fight in the underworld? We can fight. We can fight even without the Olympus stuff. We just couldn't do drive for us. Or something. Better think again. So now Pete's gonna throw a bunch of harmless at us. Defeat the enemies while defending Megara. So the Heartless are going to go after Meg, and she's got a health meter. Thankfully, she's a tough cookie. She can take quite a bit of damage. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to show off the summon. Chicken Little. Let's go. I can do this. He's not great, but he's better. Yeah, so it's Chicken Little just pulled all the enemies to this one place, so I can defeat them all very, very easily. Pete is a joke. So he can make himself invincible, but it wears off very quickly. He can basically throw stuff at you, but he's he's super easy. Yeah, we could see that FPS mode at the bottom. That's his. That's Chicken Little's special limit. We're not going to go into that now, and you can see every time I hit Pete, my drive gauge, or my summon gauge refills a little bit. Oh yeah, so you can see, yeah, so, okay, so you saw I waited until just before the summon gauge, just after the summon gauge went from 2 down to 1, then I hit Pete again, it basically comboed Pete, and every time I hit him, it would boost it back up to 2, then it would fall back to 1, and then I'd hit him again, and it kept basically going back and forth from 1 to 2, and 1 to 2, and 1 to 2. 
That's how you get EXP. Every time it drops from 2 to 1, I get 1 EXP. And so I level up my summon just by doing that little trick there. So, like I said, leveling up your summon gauge, it doesn't give you new abilities. But what it does do is means that it, you can stay in your summon. You can stay uh, with your summons for longer. Meg, nobody's even attacking you. I guess Pete can pack a punch, but yeah, he's a joke. And Chicken Little made that a lot easier too. The hook bats were killed like instantly. There's too many. Let's go. Sora, why didn't you do that earlier? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Pete, I want to say. I don't want to say Pete's the Bowser of this game, but Pete is very similar to Bowser in that, like, he's really easy to beat and he's not a very threatening villain for the most part, but, like, nothing keeps him down. Like, he suffers so many beatings in this game, but he just keeps coming back. Get Meg out of here. So I at least gotta admire him for the that. Coliseum. What about you? I'm gonna show these guys what happens when they mess with a true hero. <laughs> Thanks for getting him down to 1 HP, Sora. I'll finish him off. <laughs> now, wait a sec. Cool. Hercules, we totally had that. <laughs> no, Sora, I've got to be the hero. Sora, I won't leave him. He'll be okay. Look, even Herc has his limits. He can't keep winning forever. Then we'll go back him up. He only has one HP anyways. <laughs> Get Meg out of here. Although, honestly, I can't remember, because now we have to go back and fight Pete again. I can't remember if he gets an HP refill, or if he'll still be at 1 HP. <laughs> I want to say, or maybe he'll, like, have some HP missing. Wow, Herc, you suck. Because, <laughs> okay, if Pete only has 1 HP left, I'm just going to fire a single blizzard at him, and that will kill him. Defeat Pete before the cave collapses. Oh no, we're on a time limit. Oh, okay, so he does get his HP back. Also, we, we can do a special... Yeah, we can do special moves with Hercules. Which uh, creates a giant shield. That can also damage people. Chicken Little's still throwing firecrackers at everybody, which is nice and helpful. Oh yeah, so when Pete has this, we can use Let's the go. Pinball Command, knock him towards Hercules, who will break it out of him out of his invincibility shield. Take that. And we get Trinity Limit for beating this fight. Wow. So people people mock Chicken Little. Chicken Little helped me out a lot in those two fights. This place gives me the creeps. I'll deal with you nitwits next time. Chicken Little's not a joke. Like, he does have his uses. Like, he's definitely the worst summon in the whole game, but he's not complete garbage like people, a lot of people hang out to me. Although I did, I did not get to show off FPS mode, but you will see FPS Could mode today sometime in this game. Get any better? <laughs> this time, Wonder Breath is going down for good. Uh, I think this felt well, but it isn't everyone's favorite hero washout. You really blew it this time. Oh no, wait. <laughs> that was Hades, obviously. <laughs> I feel like Phil would also say something that rude. No one likes Sora Boozer Hades. Can it, Keyboy? Then let me. No one likes Sora Boozer Hades. Yeah, yeah, sticks and stones. <laughs> I love the pun. Hey, maybe you should go check off that Hydra you neglected to finish off. I hear things are really falling apart up there, champ. Wait! Hate to run, but... I hate to run, but I've got another little diversion to attend to. Alright, we're back here in the Underworld. Alright, new abilities. So Goofy has a new ability, Hyper Healing. Quickly revives the Fallen Party member and greatly restores their HP. I'm going to equip that instead of Defender because, honestly, getting an extra free defense when your HP is below 50% is not terribly great. 
and hyper healing is more useful. And Sora learned a new thing, Trinity Limit. It's a limit command that uses teamwork to unleash a po the powerful Trinity attack, consumes all of Sora's MP. So this is the only like limit that Sora learns by himself, basically. So there are two ways to use this. If you have Donald and Goofy in your party and you use this, it's like a very nice, powerful like limit you move. It's nowhere near as good as it was in Chain of Memories, but it is pretty useful. So you can basically do three different attacks with this, where like you activate it. Yeah, you can have Sora do like a Keyblade combo on people. You can have Donald summon meteors down on people, and then Goofy can like shoot a whole bunch of drive orbs at enemies, which doesn't really damage them, but it'll hit them a lot. And then you have a finisher, which uh, can be very, very powerful. Anyhow, we're going to equip that. It costs 5 AP. Also, if you don't have both Donald and Goofy in your party, you can still use Trinity Limit. It's just a toned-down version where you can only do Sora's combo. But it can still be useful because it can save your butt in a few situations because, again, Limit Commands, you are completely invincible during them. And it is a powerful attack. So we're definitely equipping that. Uh, I don't think we really have anything in stock except the Olympus Stone. And Oh, we've got some materials. Hey, Moogle Shop. Synthesize, hand it over. We obtained the Mega Elixir for completing the collection, so now we can make Mega Elixirs in free development. Oh, and we can make the Midnight Anklet. Yes, I would love to synthesize that. We get the Midnight Anklet. Increases dark resistance and greatly increases defense. Oh, Moogle, the Moogle Shop leveled up, so we can now use brightness and energy materials when synthesizing items. So, basically now, whenever we synthesize an item, it'll be like, do you also want to put in, like, a bright... Uh, shard or like an energy shard with it. I think we can only choose one. Using a bright shard makes it so that the Moogle Shop will gain more experience when you create that uh, synthesis item. And then the energy material will allow you to make the synthesis material using only half as many ingredients as are needed normally. However, in the case of something like the Fire Gub Angle, where it would take five Mithril Shards, one Blazing Stone, and one Blazing Shard, if we use the Energy Stone, the only thing it would do is make it so we don't need to use, uh, we only need three Mithril Shards, but we would still need the one Blazing Stone and the one Blazing Shard. Oh, that, that's a lot of information. We'll see more of that later. Bye, Chicken Little. So yeah, now if we go to Status, Summon. We are at summon level 2. Our next level up will happen once we see the summon uh, gauge drop 12 more times. But again, we can also <laughs> wait for it to drop from 2 to 1, then immediately hit them, guys, so it goes back up to 2 and then immediately back down to 1. And it wow, gives us 2 experience points, and that's kind of like the way you level up summon in this. Anyhow, let's go back outside. This can't be... The Hydra's back. Champ! You're safe! I failed. It's not your fault. I left everyone unprotected. Hades was right. I'm just a, a washout. Although I thought Phil said that at first. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> Champ! I didn't train you to think like that! Wonder Boy. Phil's right. This is no time to beat yourself up. I'm some hero. Yeah. Don't suppose you got room for one more. Oh yeah, now we can fill as a party member. We're in. <laughs> Hashtag not really. So now we get the final boss of the Olympus Coliseum, the Hydra. He's an interesting fight. Also, holy cow, yeah, they literally completely destroyed Olympus Coliseum in this, which is kind of cool and also... Whoa. So the weak spot of the Hydra is its head. Yes! Come on. Alright, you know what? We're showing off Trinity Limit. The so X is Begin Combo, which is Sora's. Ultima is Donald's Meteor Attack. And then this is that's Goofy's attack. Now that we're all done, we create this giant light orb, and look at how much damage that dealt to the guy. And the, the, uh, the finisher will deal more damage depending on how many times you hit the Hydra. Now we can use Reaction Command Vanquish to cut off his head. Oh, Final Mix actually fixed that. Okay, so this is a pretty famous part of the game where in the <laughs> final mix apparently fixed this or maybe just the HD remix of this fixed it. 
In the original Kingdom Hearts 2, though, when, like, Phil would be like, Hey, Sora, he'd, like, be like, Get up on the Hydra's back! But, like, literally, it would just be on a loop, so, like, every, literally every two seconds, it would be, Get up on the Hydra's back! Get up on the Hydra's back! But apparently, they didn't do that, I guess. I mean, they fixed it. So we used to fill one, two, Burninator uh, reaction commands, and now that makes the free heads that appeared uh, get paralyzed. So now we can just easily attack them, no biggie. Now that they're like that, what we're gonna do is we can use this reaction command where we dash through them and cut off their heads. I want to get to a point. And I kind of want to do this reaction command so that the dash sends me through them towards the upper head. Because ideally I want to kill all the heads in one, yeah, one cycle. Because they can, they can get unfrozen and then you have to get up on the hydra's back again. And now the fight becomes really fun. Because now he's got like eight heads. Now we're going to do Trinity Line again. I did not mean to do the finisher early. So that dealt a whole lot less damage. Whoops. Look at all those possessors. Ouch. Better pop the potion. There's another reaction command that we can also get where we ride Pegasus. This fight can definitely be tricky because... Oh, we got Max Drive. But we're gonna go back and heal it. Make sure you keep an eye on the limit gauge because if it runs out before you do the finisher, you ain't doing the finisher. Come on. The problem is their heads can dangle out of the way very easily. Alright. So now we hit them, and one final reaction command, one final vanquish. We cut off all their heads, and boom. And we get the thunder element. The, our first thunder element, so now we can use the thunder spell. Thunder spell is nowhere near as good in, in this as it was in Kingdom Hearts 1 or Chain of Memories, but it's still very useful. It's probably going to be our, the new blizzard, basically. Hmm. Yeah. Take that. I let you down. I'm just... <sighs> no use. I couldn't even take out Pete when he had one HP. <laughs> it's not your fault. Hey, even a god would be exhausted. She's right. Give yourself a chance to rest. There won't be any games for a while anyway. Don't worry about Wonder Boy here. I'll look after him. Sora, Donald, Goofy, I owe you big time. Hey, it's no big deal. Just let us know if Hades or the Heartless start acting up. We'll take care of it. Why, that's what heroes are for. When did you three make Hero? Let's save that for another time. <laughs> we made Hero when we beat Kingdom Hearts 1. We have to hit the road. Okay. Don't be strangers. Gorsh, I hope you feel better soon, Hercules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Wow! Yeah. Oh, well, take care, you guys. Stay a little longer next time. We got some serious training to catch up on. <laughs> we only did two rounds of pot smashing. I was planning, like, 50. <laughs> well, time to go. Oh, I almost forgot. The Olympus Stone. No, keep it with you. Hercules just caught the stomach flu, alright? Go easy on him. Oh, hey! What a coincidence! The Olympus Stone is what reveals the next keyhole!
And here we get the Hero's Crest Keyblade. Increases the damage of the finishing move in the air relative to the number of hits in the combo. I am not exaggerating when I say this is one of the top five best Keyblades in the entire game. Like, you might, you might think I'm joking. No, for real. I mentioned, like, at the beginning of the Let's Play where the Keyblades in this, like, outweigh their usefulness way slower than they do in the normal vanilla game because the Keyblade's stats in this don't matter so much as the abilities they grant. So the ability this one grants is Air Combo Boost, which makes your Air Combo Finishers more powerful. Combine this with the fact that its base strength is the highest base strength you're going to see for a very long time in the game. This Keyblade is actually the single most powerful Keyblade in the entire game when it comes to air combos. I am not joking. Even the Ultima Weapon is not as powerful as this one as far as air combos are concerned. Provided you actually land all the finisher, finishing hits. So yeah, this is a very good Keyblade. We're going to be using this for an extremely long time. <laughs> And where is everyone else? Beats me. They must have had some other matters to deal with. Matters? You mean they have more important affairs to attend to than my return? Well, see, there's this Organization 13 that keeps getting in the way. Let those fools play their little game. But what about that runt with the Keyblade? He's been a real pain, too. Oh, has he? Very well, then. I suppose you'd best tell me what's happened during my absence. Still think it's dumb that Maleficent is back for no reason. Oh, hmm. Now I wonder where that old album could be. Queen Minnie! It's horrible! <laughs> Better way to cliffhang this episode than with that, huh? <laughs> Guess where we're going next episode, everyone? Yeah, we actually get to go to the Disney castle that we saw in Kingdom Hearts uh, 1 for like five minutes. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you tune in for the next episode. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.